can a liver damaged by alcohol repair itself or be repaired? It basically depends on the stage. In simple terms, if you have a normal liver, healthy liver, and it's damaged for a short while, then it will recover fully. Not a problem. It all depends on what stage it is, see. If it goes a bit further than that and you've been drinking for a long time, you're a binge drinker, you might get some scarring. And once the scarring's there, that can't be repaired, she would say, but your liver can still function properly. If you carry on drinking, that scarring will get worse. Your liver will become worse, become more rigid, and that will lead to liver failure. But all of these things, even at the last stages, can be improved if you stop drinking, okay? Now, I know a lot of people who've been through what I've been through, a lot of people have been through worse than I've been through. The, some of which have carried on, some of whom have carried on. The ones who have carried on have died very quickly. Because once you get the warning signs, you've got to stop. There is no going back to having one or two or to having a drink on a Saturday night or maybe just at a wedding. Just don't drink at all. Because once your liver's damaged, as I said, the, the function will return, but the scarring will never be repaired. It's a bit like early stages sunburn where you get a bit of rash, a bit of redness. That'll just fade with a bit, bit of time, a bit of cream maybe. Once you get really bad sunburn, or you get a scar, you start itching it, that'll they'll always leave a scar. And that's what happens with the liver. There'll always be some scarring. Now, if you continue to drink, that'll only get worse. And if you stop and start and have these relapses, that will only get worse. So if you've got alcohol-related liver disease, okay, then you must stop drinking. There's only two ways you can go here. One is to take the right road, which I did, eventually. And the other is to take the other road where you will end up disabled, unable to function, and you will die very early in life. It's all doom and gloom, but it's there for a message uh, for you to take heed of, really, because I wish I'd seen this sort of advice 10 years ago. But fortunately, I had an angel on my shoulder and I've recovered. And I'm here to help you, help others like you, and help other people stop before they get too far into it, because addiction is like falling off a cliff you can't get back on again. You're past the point of no return. You must have heard that phrase before. So your liver needs to be able to repair. Even at a late stage, it will improve slightly and it may not get any worse. That's the key. It's not, it's got, you've got to stop getting any worse. And if you start to drink again, it's going to get worse. A lot of medicine, a lot of doctors, I've told you before, or I've mentioned before, sorry, um, a lot of medicine is common sense, isn't it? You know, people, I've got a couple of doctors as friends and you get people coming up to them and saying, oh, I'm tired, I'm doing it. Well, that's what, what's the problem? Oh, well, I'm doing a lot of overtime at work and um, I'm a bit tired with the drink. You know, the doctor says, well, don't drink as much. You want to do as much overtime and you feel better, go for a walk. You know, people are going to die, go, people are overweight, for instance. I'm not stigmatizing anybody here, I'm just talking generally. I'm feeling too fat. What did you have to eat last night? Or oh, pizza and chips. Well, it's common sense. Have a salad for two days and you lose some weight. The gym is good. I go to the gym now and again with my partner. Now, the thing is with the gym, it'll tone you a bit, but I've spoken to a lot of personal trainers and the gym probably accounts to 10 to 12% of weight loss and, and firming up the soil. The rest of it's diet. It's what you put in your mouth, isn't it? Yeah. That'll also help your liver to eat healthy. So, yes, yeah, liver will improve. You'll feel better. And get rid of all the toxins again, but stop drinking, eat a healthy diet, and drink plenty of water. And forget about the booze, forget about all the fun days, forget about when you were young, all the parties, all the sort of nonsense. Stop drinking, lead a healthy lifestyle, and you live a long life. If you are benefiting from the channel, please subscribe. If you want me to cover any other subjects, then please drop me a line. Speak soon.